Try that again, my camera phone just failed on me. It failed. It was the perfect take. But anyway, I've got this thing. Oh, those lovely tips right there. And you can see the trace of sinew on both sides. Going down past a recurve to help hold the recurve in place. Even though it's modest, I do not want to lose it. And I'm not going to horse it back all the way. It's my tiller and stick. Because I'm going to rawhide back it. I don't want to overdo it at this point, which I'm not. The bend is even. It's ready to go. I've got it rounded and the edge just the way I like it. Still giving me a little bit of room to sand the belly to if there's some discrepancies in the tillering. However, the tillering is just the way I like it right now. Uh, draw weight. A little above 40 pounds. That's all it takes. I can tell you a story. I took one of my, what I call them, I've got my paddle bows and I've got my talisman. I've got this bow style I call the Michigan bow. It's basically just a slat. It's just kind of like a modified depot kind of a thing. Short, about this length, 60 inches there and about. And I was able to, using a two blade sharp Zwicky Eskimo, get a dough with that just 40 pound. It was just a slat of wood basically. Not a 70 pound, 250 feet per second compound bow, but just a 40 pound slat of wood. Arrow went in here and the arrowhead was sticking out the other side. It didn't through and through, that's not necessary, but it was enough with a 40 pound bow. About 40 pounds even. This will be a little above, plus it's got the little recurve in there, so it would be enough to suit your purposes if you wanted to feed yourself with it. All it takes is enough, and it's always a balance between high draw weight and the reliability and the success of the bow over over time and with these wide limbs almost two and a half inches wide you know above 40 pounds it's going to be just easy peasy now you might say that that's not much of a a recurve in there but what i notice with this bow it has a wonderful springy feeling kind of like that yeah, spring you know what i'm talking about and that's about it in other news on ebay there currently is a little lgb locomotive 14 more hours to go into auction. It's currently at $75. Now, LGB isn't built anymore. I'm, I'm thinking about picking it up. Just one of those little saddle tanker kind of things. They'll run forever. Built like watches. And, man, it would be a bargain if you could get it for $150. Maybe $200 because they're not building them anymore. They'll last forever. Anyway, if you watch this within the next 14 hours, go to eBay. Type in LGB locomotive. You might see it's beautiful little, let's see, mine is green, so this is a red one. We may be in a bidding war together, but that is it. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful bow. And I had a question somebody asked me how much I'd sell them for. Unfortunately, I've, I'm committed now. After this one, I've got commitments, so it's gonna be a while. I'm not taking any commissions or anything. Just stay tuned to see what I have in the future. That's all.